$27.75 put an undocumented immigrant in handcuffs, an activist. And now it's been 73 days. 11 Alive's Elvin Lopez talks with his mother who came to Georgia from Mexico to fight for her son's freedom. Elvin? Yeah, Jeff, Eduardo Samaniego went for a run. He lost his phone and took a taxi to get back home, but he couldn't remember where he lived. He had just moved back to Georgia. The driver finally asked him to just pay him the fare, which was $27.75, but Samaniego didn't have the cash on him. Police handcuffed him for theft of services. That was in October. It's now the end of the year, and Samaniego is still behind bars. She says even though she came here from Mexico, you feel like you can't help him. You can't do anything for him. No puedo. It's a long way to go, over 1,500 miles from Zacatecas, Mexico, to Atlanta, Georgia, for a mom who feels like her hands are tied while her son is detained at Irwin County Detention Center. In his heart, he wants to be here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But Eduardo Samaniego is undocumented, which turned his inability to pay a cab fare into an ice hold, then a transfer to Robert A. Dayton Detention Facility. Pioneer Valley Workers says Samaniego came to Georgia from Mexico when he was just 16 years old. Since then, they say he has been a nationally recognized leader for his work on justice for immigrants in Georgia and in Massachusetts. Samaniego's mom says he calls the U.S. home and returning to Mexico right now isn't a good option. She says she wants him to stay in the United States so that he can get the medical treatment he needs. In the summer of 2015, she says her son was the victim of a gas explosion in Marietta. 47% of his body was burned. He had second and third degree burns. And since then, she says he's had anxiety attacks. After that incident, he was thinking about the flames being around him, and he had the sense of anxiety ever since that incident. And Samaguego is currently being held at Irwin Detention Center. His next hearing will be this Thursday, January 3rd.